Hello everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One. Today I want to talk about how to add a contact from a business card. What I would suggest is you take your business card and take a photo of the front and the back, depending upon where the information is on the card. This one particular one I'm going to use is from Catani's restaurant and most of the information is on the one side so after you take a picture of both sides go to your photos bring up the photo and you'll see in the lower right hand corner a little square with some lines on it if you tap that you'll see that it highlights information on the card you can tap on the address hold it and it will bring up the location on a map and you can see the option of get directions, open in maps, add a contact, copy address, share. Okay, you can hit add to contacts and it will start to add that particular item to your contacts. We're going to cancel that for a second. Again, just to reiterate that you can do it from multiple areas. Hold on the telephone number and now you get a different list, a little longer list. You you can call, FaceTime, message, email, all of those options. Then once again, add to contacts. So if you tap add to contacts, it will take the information from the card and put it in your contacts. You'll notice that you have the email address. And if you, you know, have the card there, you'll see that it's Katani Catering at Gmail dot com you have the address and your options are to add to an existing contact or create a new contact we're just going to say create a new contact and it will take you into add your contact you'll see the mobile phone the email address now what it doesn't have it does have the address but what it doesn't have is what it didn't pick up was the website so if you hit add url and you just type in whatever it is and dot com and any other pertinent information that you want to put in so if you want to you could put in their hours of operation anything like that so if you hit done you want to hit the home page it'll take you right to their home page from your contact and that is quite simply how you can add a contact from a business card now the other thing that you might want to do I have created lists in the contact application and I have a list called restaurants so if you see down at the bottom it says add to list tap on that and then all of my lists come up I hit restaurants okay now it adds that and you can have a contact any contact in more than one list all right and there you go some other things that you can do with a contact for example let's say we wanted to add something to the notes let's say their hours of operation one way to do that is you're just going to go to your contact and let's go to the home page here for Katani's catering and if you scroll through you'll see here's a page that shows their hours of operation so if you highlight that, then hit copy, go back to your contacts, hit edit, come down to the notes area, tap in there, hold it, paste. Now you have all of the hours of operation right in your notes so when you bring that contact up you can see all the pertinent information some other fields that we can utilize let's say the restaurant had another location you could add that address and then you would be able to tap on either address from the contact and get directions to that 
if it's in this particular case it's a business but if it was a, a person and you wanted to add their birthday you would just hit birthday select the month and the day and then the year uh, we'll go right there and hit hit that now the birthday is in there and you could now that birthday will appear on your calendar each and every year to remind you that this particular person has a birthday on that day you can add other dates as well if you hit add date now it defaults to anniversary but if you tap on anniversary you can see that there are other labels and you can like if it's a wedding anniversary for example and again same operation if you want it to be just an anniversary say it's the anniversary of opening the restaurant we want to do let's just pick october uh, 30th 2010 there you go a related name if you tap on here and you see it defaults to mother but if you tap on mother you see you'll get a whole list mother father parent brother sister so let's say this was my sister i tap on it and oh i'm sorry hit brother and then put my name in there right and you can go ahead and look at that and you, and you you could then tap on that and go to me in the or the with the brother in your contacts and tap on that and it's going to put it right in there for you also if you hit add a field now in here you can add a field a prefix phonetic first name pronunciation first name so these are aids that you can utilize if the person has a name that you have trouble pronouncing or you want to remember the proper pronunciation of it you can put that in so you put a phonetic in there and then you would just type in whatever it is you wanted to help you get the correct pronunciation of the person's name that way when you pull up their contact and if you want to call them then you know exactly the pronunciation of the person's name you can go if you go down to add a field again you can see the other you have a middle name um, and and all of the iterations of that a maiden name a suffix a nickname so let's say the nickname is uh cheech hit done now that contact information you'll notice up where it says cm you see underneath it says cheech so if you become familiar with the person you can then use their nickname so you have all this information that you can put in your contact to aid you in getting more information and better utilization of the app itself so you could have for example on me if you wanted a suffix if you wanted to put in you know say junior all right so that when you're looking at it you'll see it comes up junior also take that out and you, if you wanted a prefix so if you wanted a prefix and let's say doctor right and that's how you can utilize the prefix and the suffix without putting it in the last name or first name of the contact all right i hope this gave you some helpful hints on things that you can utilize also if you put in uh, the related names then you could use that when you're trying to make a call you can say call my wife call my brother call my sister whatever the case may be all right if you have any questions or comments please let us know